Hey guys and welcome back to my channel! If you guys are new here, hello, hi, I'm Janine and I'm a student nurse from the Philippines. So for today's video, I just want to thank you guys for all your support. Thank you for liking my videos, watching my videos, subscribing, commenting. We are nearly at 2,000... Oh, 2, wait, that's correct. The, we're nearly at 2,000 subscribers and I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this video I think around this week because I have been MIA for like the past two weeks I just needed to finish like my requirements and also my finals exam but I actually have one more requirement that I didn't finish it but I promise I am going to be doing it after I film this video so one last requirement and I'm officially done with the second semester I actually kind of ended like last Saturday pero uh, yeah, I still have one last requirement I need to pass before June 30, but your girl's gonna do it later. I know the deadline is so near, but yeah. So yeah, your ATA is like officially, well not officially yet, I'm going to be a third year rushing student when it comes to, when it's uh, like August or September, where I don't really know when's our school year going to start. But yeah, I'm going to be a third year nursing student, so I think around two years left na lang bago ako graduate, hopefully. Very on in God's will, hopefully we are going to uh, graduate by the time we are 40 years. Okay, so you guys know that I have a YouTube video that is the my first year nursing subjects here at PLM. So if you guys haven't watched that yet, please go click the link down below or the card up here if you guys want to watch that first before you watch this the second year nursing subjects video but yeah so this video is all about the second year nursing subjects here at PLM and I'm going to tell you guys so all the first year freshy students you know what's up so yeah ang haba haba na ng intro na to. so without further ado let's get on to the video Ayan, so okay, so start muna tayo sa mga minor subjects. So, syempre hindi ko alam kung papalitan nila for this incoming, mga incoming second years. Pero, ayun, uh, basta ito yung mga subjects na natakal ko. And for sure, yung mga major nursing subjects hindi mapapalitan. Pero hindi, ko, hindi kasi ako sure sa mga minor subjects if mapapalitan yan. Pero ito yung mga minor subjects na nakuha ko. So, first is yung entrepreneurial mind. So, it is 3, un three unit siya. And... If you're going to compare it with the like major subjects, uh, three units is still high. So parang even if it is considered a minor, matas pa rin yung units niya. So of course you still have to focus sa mga subjects na ganun. So entrepreneurial mind, uh, it's just all about entrepreneurship. Kung natakal niyo na yun sa senior high, I think there's a subject like that in senior high, yung orgman I think for gas students. But for sure, mga ABM meron, may meron something about entrepreneurship yun. So, ayun. So it's just all about entrepreneurship, all about business management, looking for new businesses, um, new ideas, innovation, ganon. So yun yung uh, basically yun yung entrepreneurial mind. Next is, ito na yung PE. And yung PE namin is RNIS. So, if you have been watching my videos, my past videos, nakita niyo naman na nag-RNIS dito ako sa bahay. Halos, halos binawasak ko na yung mga gamit dito sa bahay. Pero, syempre, yun, still being careful. Pero, that is our PE for the first semester during our second year. And, yun yung RNIS. So, RNIS, it is two units. Pero, ano, Hindi naman kasi kasali yung PE when it comes to computing the GWA. Pero, ayun, syempre kailangan nyo pa rin pumasa. Kailangan nyo pa rin uh, mag-comply sa mga requirements. Kasi kung hindi, of course, you're going to be, your grade will be INC. And hindi naman pwede yun, di ba? So, ayun, Arnis. And then, next naman, ito na yung simula ng National Service Training Program natin. Or yung NSTP. So, yung NSTP kasi, um, pipili ka either Community Welfare training service, I think. That's what see what means, I think. Or ROTC. Hindi ko alam yung ibig sabihin ng ROTC. Ayan. Book! And, andyan na lang yung ROTC. It is also three units. So, of course, kailangan nyo pa rin magpass ng mga requirements. Kasi kung hindi, mag-INC kayo or incomplete. So, need nyo pa rin pumasa ng mga requirements done. And then, ayan, dito lang sa NSTP, I think, Kasi ako, pumili kasi ako ng community service. Kasi you can pick eh, between either community service or ROTC. Pero ako, pumili kasi ako ng CWATS. Because 
hindi ako kasi ako comfortable na mag like ROTC dito sa bahay like mas maganda syempre na mag ROTC ka like if you're doing the face to face one ayun ko parang mas masaya kasi pag ganyan eh pero pag online kasi syempre parang hindi mo masyadong maramdaman yung pagiging ROTC so ayun pumili na lang ako ng CWATS because ayun i think it's a little bit easier to do it during this online setup so syempre depende pa rin sa inyo kung ano yung gusto ninyo kung gusto niyo ng CWATS or gusto niyo ng ROTC wala naman problema doon uh, both is okay both is good i have classmates who picked ROTC pero syempre majority of my classmates pick talaga uh, CWATS so ayun Okay, so ayan, uh, I think this video will be really short because we're now moving on to our major nursing subjects. It's almost the same nursing major nursing subjects ng first semester ng second year to the second semester ng second year. So I'll just like fast forward <laughs> through all of those. So ayan, ayan, so we're going to start first with our community health nursing. So there is community health nursing one. So that is what we're tackling. tackling tackling in the first semester of our second year. So, uh, kapag, ayun, pag pinapanood yung mga videos ko, nakikita nyo naman na nabanggit ko yung CHN, yung mga uh, ginagawa mga reviewers, mga inaaral ko. So, ayan. So, basically from the title or the name of the subject itself, Community Health Nursing. So, we're studying about the community, how to um, promote health in the community, um, maintain their health you know so ayun yung community health nursing so there's the lecture and then there's the laboratory so there's one in the morning and then there's also one in the afternoon so that is our chn so i guess may pagkahirap din siya lahat naman ng mga nursing subject mahirap talaga siyang aralin so yung community health nursing i think it is important Depende rin kasi sa prof ninyo if book-based siya. Pero I think yung prof kasi namin, book-based siya. And um, minsan kumukuha siya sa internet. Minsan kumukuha kung ano yung alam niya sa, like, in his mind, right? So, so that is basically what community health nursing is. If you guys want an in-depth, like, in-depth view of what community health nursing is or you want to read about it, I'm going to link down below my the nursing books video that I uploaded. I'm going to link it down below so that you guys could check it out and if you want to read about community health nursing, so ayan. Okay, so next major nursing subject naman is yung nutrition and diet therapy. So of course, there's a lecture and there's a lab. So dito meron kaming two professors, pero ayan, two professors, pero they're the same for our lecture and for our laboratory as well. So ayun, ito talaga yung nutrition diet therapy. I think this subject, it really depends talaga sa prof, pero I think this is one of the most draining, hard, difficult subjects that I have ever experience. So, I think it just really depends talaga sa prof. Pero, ayun, nahirapan ako ng medyo, I think not even medyo, I think if you're going to rank it like 1 to 10, I think nahirapan ako like 8.9 then Almost to 9. So, ayun. So, syempre kapag face-to-face, -face, I think mas lalo akong mahirapan, di ba? Pero since it is in an online setup, um, our professors naman were um, medyo, they were medyo like lenient naman when it comes to like passing up requirements like deadlines lahat naman sila pero of course we need to ask for it bago sila magbigay ng mga leniency na yun di ba yeah nutrition diet therapy is basically parang you're going to calculate like their weight yung mga BMI nila kung ano yung dapat kainin nila so syempre pinag-aaralan mo rin yung mga diseases because of course there is a specific diet per like disease per disorder like kung ano yung dapat kainin nila syempre to maintain their health di ba so, or to improve their health of also, like, halimbawa, sa so diabetes, anong dapat kainin kapag yung person na ito may ng diabetes, anong dapat i-watch out niya, watch out niya for what's the difference between diabetes 1 and diabetes 2. Ayan, so, <laughs> yun yung nutrition and diet therapy. So, you're going to be studying here a lot of diseases, like, diseases, tapos anong yung food na dapat kainin nila during, their, during that time. So, uh, medyo kailangan nyo pa nyo mag-aral-aral dito. Uh, the Nutrition Diet Therapy book that we use, I think hindi naman siya masyado kasing ginamit. So, um, just really listen talaga na lang to your professors and what they're teaching and ask what their reference books are. Again, there in my book uh, video, I also, I also mentioned the 
uh, the book that we use for nutrition and diet therapy, pero hindi buo na yun yung ginamit talaga. So, and just listen to your professors, ask them what reference they're using. So, uh, pwede kayo mag advance reading on that. Oh, so nakalimutan ko banggitin. So yung community health nursing lecture naman, it was two units. Tapos yung sa community health nursing uh, laboratory naman, it's just 0.5 units. I think it's much higher than that dapat kasi for uh, RLA. Siyempre, for, dapat nagjujuti na rin kasi kami. Pero hindi, siyempre hindi umabot kasi siyempre pandemic. So bumaba siguro yung mga units. So I think that's the theory behind that. That's my reasoning behind that. I'm not really sure. And then yung uh, nutrition diet therapy lecture, two units. And then yung sa laboratory naman is one unit. Pero mabigat pa rin yung one unit na yun kasi it is a major nursing subject and really really need to focus on those subjects lalo na kapag major. Pero at the same time also your minor kasi yan yung magbabubuhat. So at the same time just focus on all your subjects kind of yan guys. Anyways, okay balik na tayo dun sa uh, last major nursing subject natin. So it is the Maternal and Child Nursing Lecturer and Laboratory. So, yung lecture namin, the unit is four. So, that's four units. And then, yung sa laboratory naman namin is two units. So, ayun, mas mabigat naman yung four units kasi sa three units. So, you really need to focus on that four unit uh, subject. So, importante ang maternal and child nursing because judging from the name again itself maternal so you're talking about the mom and the child you're talking about the child or like the newborn the infant or you're even taking care of them of a mom who is already who is currently pregnant so it really depends you're studying about here in the first semester you're going to be studying about like the normal pregnancy uh pinaghiwalay kasi nila mama explain ko yun sa second semester part Basta dito sa first semester, basta pinag-aaralan nyo lang yung like menstruation, um, ano yung mga normal, yung mga positions ng baby sa loob ng chan ni mommy, yung mga antepartum, postpartum, intrapartum. I don't know if you guys understood those words, pero ilalagay ko na nandito kung ano yung meaning nila. Ayan, yun yung mga pinag-aaralan namin dun, si, dun sa maternal child nursing. So, it's a really important subject, especially if you want to go into the field of maybe pediatric or ob I mean, not field, but if you want to become a doctor and you want to focus on those on those two um, maybe specialties. So yeah, yun yung importante kapag gusto mo mag panak. Pero um, they also explain the difference between like midwife and nurse, and then mostly kasi the midwife talaga ng gumago gumagawa nun. and then uh, nurse I think is just more on assistance, especially kapag walang like obigaini present or like a doctor who is who specializes that and that is present. So ayan yung midwife naman yung gumagawa, and yun yung ginagawa naman sa mga community community centers, mostly naman, wala naman available na doctor, so yung mga midwives ang gumagawa. So, correct me if I'm wrong, if there anyone out there who have more knowledge than me, so please comment down below if anything I said about that is wrong. Okay. Okay, so we are now moving on to our second semester, and yung major nursing subjects naman namin doon, it's just the repeat of community health nursing and maternal child nursing. So, in community health nursing, I think it's a continuous lang, kinakontinue mo lang yung book, I think. Hindi namin kasi masyadong na naaral yung community health nursing the second semester kasi hindi puro kasi kaming asynchronous sa PLM. Ayun yung itinakda ng aming PLM president and para dito sa pandemic na to and we're very very grateful for that. Pero ayun, of course there's also a backside to it. We weren't able to meet our prof for our community health nursing subject anymore. I think we only met him once pero ay, naging prof ko naman siya dati for anatomy and physiology. And ayan, so hindi na siya um, pumunta sa synchronous lecture namin. And sa so, sinabi naman niya sa amin na asynchronous yung gagawin niyang type of class. Ayan. So next naman is our maternal child nursing. So dito naman pinag-aaralan yung mga abnormal, like yung mga abnormal. So maybe there is something wrong with her uh, breasts or maybe there's something wrong with her lower region area. So ayan. Yun yung mga pinag-aaralan namin sa MZN2 for the second semester. So, um, medyo, medyo pareho yung sa lecture and laboratory. Pero mostly kasi dun sa lecture, we're studying more on yun, yung mga diseases. And I think yung, 
lecture yata is 9 units. I think it, it yeah, 9 units kasi tatlong araw kami nag dapat pumapasok dun sa uh, MCN lecture 2. So it is 9 units yata, 8 units. Basta mataas siya, mataas yung units niya. And then for laboratory namin, it is just 1 unit. Pero ayun, I think it just became 1 unit kasi syempre yung early namin dapat nasa hospital. Pero we're doing it online. So uh, hindi counted yun kasi of course our duty. We need Kailangan pa rin namin mag-duty for our MCN and our siege. And, and that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. So, if you guys have any more questions, make sure to use the hashtag NursingWithJen so that madali kong makita and madali kong masagutan. And if hindi kong masagutan, maybe I'm saving it for a future video. Pero ayun, I'm, I think generally I'm going to be answering it naman kaagad. So, ayun, make sure that you guys comment it down below. And of course, uh, meron, akong gumawa, meron akong ginawa ng mga reviewers for anatomy and physiology and I upload every Friday but ayun, I haven't been uploading for the past two weeks, I think, yeah, for two weeks kasi ayun, I needed to focus on my finals and my mga final requirements kasi na need ko ipasa so hindi ako nakapag-upload at that time. But for sure this week, I'm going to be uploading them so ayan, I'm going to be putting it in the card right up here and also in the link down below so you guys can check it out. Ayun. Um, anatomy and physiology reviewers siya and I hope you guys don't demand anything. Siyempre, I still have my own time but I'll try to upload as much as I can na reviewers and ayun, I'm currently focusing more on anatomy and physiology but sooner or later maybe I'll be uploading about nursing theorists maybe around July or yeah, maybe around July I'll be starting to post about the nursing theorists so that meron kayong maaral about that. So, ayan. So, thank you guys again so much for watching this video. So, if you guys like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up down below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!